Well, happy Friday, everybody. You made it through the week. Uh, before we get into today's lesson, though, I want to talk just a little bit about what's happening this weekend um, and give you a little bit of words of wisdom. Uh, usually I try to talk to everybody before prom um, in class, but since I'm not there, I want to give you a little bit of my, my words of wisdom and some advice. Uh, gentlemen, a lot of this is looking at you uh, in uh the expectations and the ideas that I want to talk about. So uh, be patient. We'll get to what you need to do for the day uh, here in a minute. But I want to talk about uh, a little bit of uh, the expectations uh, of things you might want to think about this prom weekend. I know it's unsolicited, but you know there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that we could do to, to to make sure that we're the best date ever. So here's my little advice before prom. Here's the things that I kind of wished I knew uh, when I went to prom. Now, here's the thing. I learned it pretty quickly because I went to prom three years in a row. Uh, and uh, sophomore year, uh, somebody asked me. Junior year and senior year, I asked somebody else. Um, and so I got to, got to be pretty good at this prom thing. Uh, but I just want to point out, you know, this is a big deal for a lot of people. Uh, and it's a lot of people uh, – it's a big deal for your parents – uh, so when they want you to line up for pictures, do it. You know, and trust me, 20 years later, you're gonna love looking back to see your youthful self again. You know, 20 years later, that's me right now. I'm looking back at where I was at the age of 18, and looking back at where I was at the age of 17. I'm like, wow, life has changed. But it was so fun that night, and it was so fun hanging out with those friends. Uh, so please make sure that you. You know, you line up and you you take those those fun pictures and you, you'll have something to look back on. It'll be good. And also note that this is a big deal for your date. You know, it should be a big deal for you too. Um, I'm going to tell you for for most girls that are going to prom, you know, this is this is an event that's all about them and it's it's almost like being a princess for the night. You know, and so it's going to be a big deal for her. Uh, it's going to be a big deal for your date. So. Make it a big deal for you, too. Have fun with your friends. This is the last time that you're going to have together as a senior class community. So go out and have fun. And really, to be honest with you, go out and dance. right? Dance like nobody's watching you. Nobody is watching you. and Who cares? You know, If you don't know what the latest dance move is, if you don't know how to, I don't know, if you're not that good at the whip or not that good at nay-nay, then you know, just get out there and have a good time. I look back on my prom, uh, my prom's theme my senior year was Into the Mystic, and it was a song by Van Morrison, and and I look back be with such fond memories, because we had such fun uh, at that prom, and we had such fun uh, hanging out with friends and, and, and really having a great time. That's my little words of wisdom for you. But I got some more. Okay, so my son Connor and I wanted to give you all a little advice before we embark on this wonderful prom weekend. These are some tips and some things that we want you to know. Mostly how to be a gentleman. This guy is going to learn what it means to be a gentleman, but you get to get the lesson before he does. Here's what I think you need to know about being a gentleman on prom night. Okay, so gentlemen, Here's some things that I want to make sure you understand. Number one, stay by your date. Don't ditch them. Now, this doesn't have to mean that you went to the prom with this person, so you must be dating them. It just means that you care enough to be with them and show them how much of a gentleman you are. Second, be chivalrous, right? Open doors, pull out the chair, wait for them to sit down. Don't sit down until they sit down, right? Help them out of the car. Give them an arm to hold on to. Grab their hand. It doesn't mean that you're trying to force them to do something. It doesn't mean that you're saying they're incapable. It's just being a gentleman. It's being chivalrous. We need to work on some of that. Third, compliment them. They have worked hard for this day, and the least you could do is compliment them on how beautiful and how glowing and how elegant and how pretty they are. By all means... Compliment them on their shoes. Compliment them on their dress. Compliment them on their hair. They are, they are looking wonderful tonight, and they like to hear that, right? 
Fourth, make the event special. Don't upstage your date. If you ordered white tuxedos, we got another problem here. But don't upstage your date. Don't overshadow them. Don't require that you be the center of attention. Like I said before, they waited their whole night for this, their, their whole life for this night, uh, you know, as a princess for their senior prom. Let them bask in the glow of this evening. They look beautiful. They're out there having fun. You go out there and have fun too. Also, prepare for pictures. What does that mean? That means shave. That means get a haircut. That means iron your shirt. If you don't know how to iron your shirt, it's time to learn. That means shine your shoes. You gotta look like a gentleman. If your date's cold, give her the ja your jacket. You know, that's the things that gentlemen do. The one rule that's most important, ladies first, right? Put your date's joy ahead of your own crazy ideas. This doesn't mean this doesn't mean you have to do everything that she says. No, this means that you don't want to upstage. You don't want to make the night horribly, you know, uncomfortable because you're trying to be the center of attention. Go out and have fun. Now there are some rules that people need to work on, gentlemen, on how to dress like a gentleman. So let's go over some of the basics. If you're wearing a suit with three buttons, the rules are simple. Right, the middle button is always buttoned. The top button, you can button it sometimes. It doesn't have to be buttoned. But the bottom button, you should never button it on any suit coat. Any suit coat. If you've got a button on the bottom, do not button it. That bottom button is there just for show. It's not there for you to tuck yourself in and wrap yourself up like a burrito. Don't, bottom the, don't button the bottom button. Okay, if you're going to wear suspenders... You can't wear a belt. No suspenders and belt together. That looks weird. They're serving the same purpose, and you look redundant. Belts hold up your pants. Suspenders hold up your pants. Choose one, not both. Now, let's take a look at ties, right? The person in the middle is wearing the tie properly. The tip of your tie should just barely touch your belt buckle. Don't tie it too short because that just looks weird, as you can see. And too long just means you were lazy you didn't plan it the right way. So if you're wearing a regular tie, the tip of the tie goes to your belt buckle. That's the rule of thumb always. Now, these are tips for everybody, right? First, put your cell phones away. It's important to have your cell phone sure, especially to snap the quick photos you want to do or put your Snapchat story together. But there's a time and place for everything. And dinner before prom is definitely not the right time, right? If you're with your date one-on-one -on -one having dinner and just texting away, that's a that's an absolute no, right? You've got to keep the phone in your pocket and pay attention to your date, pay attention to the people you're going with. Your Snapchat can wait. Your, your Twitter post can wait. Your Instagram post can wait. Second, this isn't the time to try new things. That goes for a lot of different pieces, but don't try new things. Don't, don't do something weird and crazy because, oh, it's prom. you got to do something weird and crazy. Nah, nah, nah. Be yourself. Don't be the person that tries new things and does something crazy and wrong. Third, respect the organizers of the event. These young women have worked hard to put this together for you. Thank them. Thank the advisors. Be there to have fun and respect the work that they put into it. And finally, be polite and respectful to your date. And this is for everybody. This isn't just for guys and girls that you know that are on a date together. This is for everybody. Be polite and respectful. Remember that you came with them to have fun, not to create drama. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, be safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Better yet, don't do anything Connor wouldn't do. And trust me, that's a lot. But anyways, be safe at prom this weekend. Make good choices. I look forward to seeing you all on Monday. Be safe. Now, for American government, your assignment is to go to iCivics.org and find the simulation branches of power. Do you like running things in government? That's what this is about. It allows you to do something that nobody else can, control all three branches of government, and you have the power to write any laws that you want about issues you choose. But be careful, there's a lot to juggle when you're playing these three branches. With your knowledge of Congress and the presidency, you're going to work your way through this simulation of creating a bill, passing a bill, signing a bill, and challenges in court. When the task is complete, 
after you've ushered them through the process, I want you to take a screenshot of your completed certificate or report at the end and answer this question in Seesaw. Which roles presented the most challenge for you in this process? Congress, presidency, or the courts? Why? Give at least one example, a specific example, of a challenge that you faced. And that's it. Let's get to work.